Nintendo Quest Log, between rumors of a 3D Mario All-Stars bundle <gasps> and a long gap between last September's Nintendo Direct and last month's Direct Mini, a new Direct didn't seem too far. That is, until Nintendo allegedly delays their June Direct, which was supposed to occur during E3. <clears throat> From Dennis Patrick at GameRanks, Nintendo has apparently delayed their June E3 Nintendo Direct. So because of local lockdowns due to COVID-19, obviously, Nintendo has had a hard time finalizing their plans. It's also worth noting that in neither of the big new things that are happening, whether it's Jeff Keighley's uh, four-month game thing or IGN's Summer of Gaming, neither of them include Nintendo in these plans. And then, hold on, I believe you want to ask me, can Nintendo afford to wait any longer to announce games for the last half of 2020? You don't know anything. Before I answer that question, when we talked after the last Direct Mini, yeah, you made a really strong case about going back and crunching numbers and looking at all the history of Direct Minis followed by Directs, and you said there was going to be another Direct sometime before E3. I did. And then a week after, I said, maybe not, because... And oh, wait, I said, I, said, I, I uh, corrected the Zelda prediction, but not the, the Direct prediction. You're right. I could have sworn... That we made some kind of bet around that. This is not a use of bet in the slang term. This is a gambling type thing. <laughs> I could have sworn there was some kind of bet around that. Or maybe I was just like, God, I hope you're right. I don't remember. But somebody go back in time, listen to that episode, and let me know if Holden owes me like a pizza or a back rub or something like that. A um, back rub? I had to fly to California to give you a back rub. That seems yeah, heavy. You have to wear a mask and everything. The whole flight over everything. Yes, and you have to back rub me with gloves, six feet apart. You have to put <laughs> plastic <laughs> Halloween glove hands on the end of a broomstick. Can Nintendo afford to wait any longer to announce games for the last half of 2020? Um, yes, I think they can. Uh, they, Whenever they announce it, however they announce it, and whatever they announce, they will dominate the conversation as they always do. People will be right there to snap it up. So even if they wait until August to tell us, hey, at the end of August, we're releasing Super Mario All-Stars 2, they're going to be just fine. There will be enough buzz to let enough people know before it drops. Yeah, if the only thing they're releasing for the rest of this year are the Super Mario remasters, yeah, they can do, what e they can do whatever they want. They could and say, I would hope Metroid Prime Trilogy. Yeah, Um but just for like the, the sake of, of argument, like only those Super Mario All Star like bundle game, whatever it is, like if it's a bundle or individual games, whatever it is, they could say, "Hey guys, in three minutes we're gonna release this Mario bundle." Here's a trailer yep. for it. Doesn't matter. They could release it. It would sell just as many copies. They could sell it Tuesday morning at seven fifty three a.m. Like doesn't matter. Um, so I, I think they can definitely afford to wait. It really comes down to I think more of if they are going to release that Paper Mario game coming out. I also heard a rumor that they're going to release Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC for Ooh. this year as well, which would make sense because there's another rumor that the big game for the end of the year is going to have tires in it. Mario Kart 8 DLC sounds more likely than a Mario Kart 9 right now. Considering how many people have bought, bought Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, how many people would buy the DLC for it, they're just asking to print money. Like that made so much sense when I heard that. If they're doing that, they're doing the Paper Mario game. If they're doing the Prime trilogy, kind of taking all the stuff out of the vacuum and looking at everything now, I, it'd be tough to wait till August to announce all those games and the release dates. But it also comes down to as well: is it a bundle for those Mario games, or is it individual games? The individual games they're releasing alongside the Metroid Prime trilogy, Paper Mario, Mario Kart 8, the DLC. It's a lot of stuff to like build in before december so basically between like september and december it's a lot of stuff they could do yeah. it but it's a lot of stuff especially when you're in that hot period of next gen news that is going to be the hottest period of next gen news all the hype is building up to that point nintendo i think needs to make their case before that huge next gen push comes into play um for not so much for people like us but for people who are more casually involved in the industry who are probably going to see more things about Sony and Microsoft this holiday than they would about Nintendo, even with the Mario remasters. Um, yeah. I'm, I, I can't imagine it's going to get delayed for any other reason than th some of the content's probably not ready. And as you've heard from like Phil Spencer, many other people is that software is harder to figure out right now than, than hardware. 
So I feel like that might be a bigger reason why it's getting delayed. Not so much like they can't put marketing plans together, but because they right. simply don't know if like they, they want to hit that time frame for Mario's 35th anniversary. But if they legitimately can't do it, they're not going to force it. To play devil's advocate, one thing that we in this discussion have not taken into account yet is that we're assuming all of those games are coming out before Christmas. Yeah. I, they could announce something like New Super Mario Bros. Wii U switch deluxe came out in january like they if they if they announce the mario games in august or september but they say hey we're spreading these out over the next six months i feel like that could be plenty of time they say hey the first one's coming end of september or beginning of october whatever it is and then you'll get a new one every couple of months if they could work if they ditched the idea of doing this for 35th anniversary of mario absolutely yeah but if they're doing it for mario's 35th anniversary i think that does put that before Christmas time frame on everything. But obviously, they're not going to release a bad game to make it fit with a marketing ploy. I, I, Nintendo, yeah. I don't think they would do that, especially with Mario. They can take their time with Mario. They can release Fast games. and Furious. 100% exactly. I don't know what the connection is, but 100%. exactly. Exactly. Just, you know, forcing a timeline just to co release with something else. But that game now has an extra year to Oh, Crossroads. Now good. is what you're saying. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah the video game and the movie. <clears throat> it might be a good video game now because it didn't look great before. Sorry, right, it looks I'm like so sorry. Garbage. No, he knows it looks like trash, but he's gonna play it anyway, and he's gonna love it. 